My maiden name was Lois Ann Bellingsley. I was born January 13th, 1936. I was 18 when I got married. And then I married David Haynes, August the 25th of 1954. 19 when Mark was born and 55. And I, 23 when Chris was born and 59. And 25 when Lori was born and two years later. And what were your parents' names? Reuben Clarence, who was called R.C., and Chloe Viola. Most of the uh, nieces and nephews called her Mammy. I'm not sure why, but uh, she was known by Mammy a lot. But they were both born in Arkansas in uh, little Izzard County, and the town was Franklin, a little small, wide place in the road. And my brother Rudy was born there also. Then they moved to Oklahoma after Rudy was born, and I don't know how old he was when they came, but then Bob and I were both born in Oklahoma. My dad, he could do about anything, but he made his living as a carpenter for a long time. And then he opened up a used furniture business, and then he had all kinds of stuff, new and used, in that big store called Billingsley's Trading Post on Main Street in Cushing. And uh, my mother died in 52. So my mother, she died at age 47 with a heart attack, just real quickly. 47 years old with a heart attack, just dropped dead. She, she was not feeling well, and uh, but she had cooked dinner. She knew her dad had been on a buying trip, and he was coming. knew she was he was coming home, so she was fixing dinner. And uh, when he came in, he could tell she wasn't feeling well. He said, "Go call the doctor." And I had gone to the phone, and then I heard him holler, and Mom had fallen over in his arms, and she was gone oh, pretty quick. It just seemed like my world came to an end for a while. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. in uh, a junior in high school, and of course I finished school and all that. I was going with David at the, at the time. And my daddy told me at that time, he said, if you and David want to get married, I'll sign the papers. And I thought, Dad, I'm 16. I'm not ready to get married, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he didn't know what to do with me, you know. Right. And then my dad died in the San Francisco Hospital. He oh, really? had Here, uh, tell us hardening of the arteries, and they did, did surgery, and um, his veins were so brittle, brittle they just wouldn't hold. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he was only 64 when he died. Really? He turned 64 on the 9th of January and died the 15th. I had gotten back from my senior trip and we went to the drive-in movie and he asked me to marry him. <laughs> and uh, that was in the end of May when I graduated and then we got married that August the 28th. Okay. And we went to Colorado on our honeymoon, went to uh, Denver and to uh, Colorado Springs and uh, we were very, very fortunate to be able to take a lot of trips. We, we went to Spain, we went to, uh, we went on a wonderful Mediterranean cruise, we've mm -hmm. been on about five or six Caribbean cruises. We took a Alaskan cruise. We went down uh, the Mexican Riviera on a cruise. The first foreign trip we made was a week in London. And the next year it was a week in Paris. And the next week it was a week in Rome. Yeah, I remember coming back and Mark picked us up at the airport. But then, see, it was just later that he got sick. Okay. And he was diagnosed in February and uh, died in August of 2000. Yeah, my birthday party. Close. Yeah. I was cooking stuff for Lori when he, they called yeah. me from the hospital and they said, uh, they said it was incurable and inoperable. And I said, the Lord can cure it. And he said, I know it one way or another. So he's been gone 14 years plus. And sometimes it's fresh like it just happened. I had three children. Of course, we lost our first son, and I have eight grandchildren, eight, uh, four boys and four girls. Mm -hmm. The oldest one turned 31 in December, and the youngest one turned 14 in December, and they're all in between that. 
have I uh, have five great grandchildren. We'll have my sixth one in May, and then that will make me three boys and three girls greats when the when a little Lila. Lila Grace gets here in May. It'll be three boys and three girls. The oldest is Carly. She'll be ten in February, and then Landon's eight, and uh, Carson just turned four, and Eli was three in uh, September, and then little Stella will. Soon be soon be nine months old. She was born April sixth, and then the new new one coming around May fifth, give or take a few days. You know how that goes. She'll probably have another C-section. She did with the other two. It's kind of kind of wild around here sometimes at holidays yeah. and birthdays, but I love every minute of it. <laughs>